Hi there survivors. In this short video for beginners, I will tell you what the Undawn rating is for, and how to increase your rating as efficiently as possible. Don't forget to like this video if you learn something useful, and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. So rating in Undawn is not just an indicator of your character's level of development. It directly determines how much damage you will deal and how much damage you will receive in battles against mobs. Almost all major game modes have a so-called recommended rating. If your character rating is lower than the recommended rating, you will deal much less damage to mobs, while mobs will deal much more damage to you. However the rating does not directly affect the damage to other players, and this is perhaps the only plus. Now let's talk about how to increase your rating. If you open the character information panel, then in the rating tab you will find absolutely all the ways to increase your character's rating that are currently available. You can also see an assessment of the level of development of each specific aspect. Another question is which of all this is actually worth developing first, and there are some nuances here. As you've probably already noticed, almost all resources for character development have daily or weekly limits, and if you want to progress faster, you must reach these limits every time. The most important thing is accessory blueprints. You can purchase up to 15 accessory blueprints per day from the merchant guild with coupons. If you want to effectively develop your character, you must do it every day. Upgrading accessories not only increases your character's parameters but also significantly enhances the firearm talents of all main weapons. The second most important thing is polishing, especially polishing main and heavy guns. Many players try to polish their equipment evenly, but this is a mistake. First of all, it is worth developing main and heavy weapons to the maximum level. In terms of damage dealt, this is much more profitable than the set bonus. Moreover, by developing polishing evenly, you will not be able to use the materials that you receive for completing weekly special ops, and this will hinder your progress. If your goal is rating, then the cheapest way to increase it, is to increase the level of talents. Silver is now a little easier to earn in Undawn, so you shouldn't have too much trouble earning it. Increasing the level of talents will not only increase your rating, but will also give expertise points for developing class talents, which in turn seriously affect your effectiveness in battles. Also don't forget that you can buy 100k extra silver per week in the store for 60k gold. The same goes for camp training. You must develop absolutely all skills to the limits if you want to increase your rating. Don't forget about Prime Enhancement. When both parameters in an item are developed to levels 15, 30, and 45, you will unlock one accuracy tuning slot. At the moment there are only three slots, but in the future there will almost certainly be more. It makes no sense to develop items in this way evenly. You should aim to reach a key level in a specific item, unlock accuracy tuning, and then move on to the next item. As you understand, you need to start with weapons. And of course never lose sight of tactical essentials. Individually, the bonus of each node may seem insignificant, but in total they provide a huge boost to your character's stats. Always make sure you have enough tactic samples to unlock the next node, and if you do, feel free to buy additional tactics records in the trade section from other players. Separately I would like to note the importance of purple chips. If you do not already use them in all available slots of your equipment, then there is little point in buying equipment in legendary quality. You will have to change it every 10 levels, each time spending at least 600,000 gold on it, while the purple chips will stay with you forever. However if your goal is to increase your character's rating, then legendary equipment is one of the most important things. As for jeans, I have already talked about them many times in other videos. Nowadays it's not difficult to purchase ready-made jeans from players. Many of them are quite high quality and will significantly increase your rating. If you don't know how to earn gold, watch other videos on the channel, they have all the information you need. The last important thing I would like to tell you about today is purple stats, and there are separate videos about them too on the channel. At current prices you have the opportunity to be guaranteed to get the first purple stat in any piece of equipment for only 100 to 120,000 gold. If you want to increase your character's rating, then you should not forget about this opportunity, and that's all for today. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. But before that check out other Undawn videos on my channel. There are already quite a few of them, 
so you will almost certainly find the answer to your question. As always thank you for your activity and support. Happy hunting survivors and bye.